All right, now we're doing 6Q Persistent Bugger. This is by Joe Pot, and 91% of the people like it. We're going to write a function persistence that takes in a positive parameter num and returns its multiplicative persistence, which is the number of times we must multiply the digits in num until we reach a single digit. So 39 is going to be 3 times 9, which is 27. 2 times 7 is 14. 1 times 4 is 4. And then 4 has its has only one digit, so it's 3. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. 9 times 9 times 9, 7 times 2 times 9, 1 times 2 times 6, uh, 12, and then 1 times 2, and then it's going to be 4, I guess. And then 4 is 0 because it's already one digit. Awesome. All right, now that we are armed with all that knowledge, uh, what we're going to do is say result. We're going to, excuse me, we're going to say let result equals 0. And this result is going to be the count of, it's going to be this count right here. Uh, we're also going to say, let uh, str equal the string constructor num. All right, we're going to turn num into a string for this so we can easily uh, iterate through, not iterate through, but tell how many digits are, uh, you know, split it up and all that stuff. You know, you know, hopefully you know what I'm saying. All right, so we're going to do a while loop here. So we're going to say while uh, str.length is greater than 1, all right, until there's one digit, we're going to say, uh, first we're going to reduce this down uh, and then uh, do multiplication on each digit and then so we can go on through and do it again. So we're going to say str equals, uh, first we're going to need to put str in an array. So we're going to use spread syntax and say str and then we're going to say dot reduce. And we're going to have previous value, current value, the arrow right there. We're going to say previous value times current value. So it's going to be like 9 times 9, 81, and then 81 times 9, which is 729, and then so on and so forth. And then we're also going to say result plus plus. And we're going to say return result. And that should get what we want. Ah, uh, no, 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 we need to turn this back into a string each time. So let's wrap this back up, wrap this in parentheses and say S-T-R-I-N-G with the string constructor. Now let's test it out. All right, attempt it and submit it. All right, very much like this one. Oh, good, thanks. Ah, thanks, just what I wanted. Uh, so we pretty much did it just like this one, uh, except for we didn't do like the split or the map or any of that, because we don't have to, and then we use string constructor, because basically we don't have to. Uh, and then here's one with the good old uh, ternary operator, and with some uh, reduction, whatever that stuff's called, re recursion. All right, so let's go to mine. Right, just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. And we already very liked it, and we'll see you next time.